искренне
0.27 GV and here uh, it's ISOS means zero and uh, we have uh, here a char number which is positive one for a uh, char. And for bottom quark, uh, it's mass uh, but, uh, is uh, in this scheme, which is the mass independence subtraction scheme at a scale uh, about 2 GV. It has uh, about uh, 4.2 GV. <coughs> and here we have a, a, a bottom number, uh, bottom less minus one for bottom quark. And finally, for top quark, uh, its mass is uh, much heavier, and we have a higher between the uh, top quark mass and the other quarks. It has approximately 172 uh, uh, GV, and here uh, it is isospin is zero, and uh, here we have topness, which is plus. So next. Yeah, yeah, in like both two families, like two, 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 second and third families, the quarks with positive charge are heavier, but in the first family it's the opposite. Is there a reason or is it something unexpected? In these two families, the positive charge quarks are uh, no. The yeah. upper quarks have positive charge and lower has okay. lower. So in these two families, positive charge. Has this one? Bigger masses. In both families, positive charge once has bigger mass. Mm. Right? Positive. In charge. But yeah. in the first family, it's the opposite. No, no. no? This is an arrangement. I mean, the, I think the question is the top quark is heavier than the bottom quark, char quark is heavier yes, than the strange quark. So we would think that the, uh, the up quark would be heavier than the down quark, but that's not the case. Yes. Is there any reason? So there is no pattern like positive charge quarks should be heavier or. Well, remember, these masses depend on Yukawa couplings yeah. between the Higgs and the quarks. Mm -hmm. And Nikola couplings are three parameters in the standard model. Yeah. So this is just mystery of the standard model. We don't know why the masses have these values. Okay. <laughs> these are the experimental values. So look at the force carriers, uh, which uh, are uh, eight coulombs here. Uh, coulombs are uh, massless particles, and they have the same one, uh, light. Uh, like uh, photons, but uh, here uh, uh, there is a difference between uh, the gluons and quarks and photons. Uh, here uh, you know that in QED, uh, photon, uh, photons don't uh, uh, interact with each other, but here uh, due to the colors, uh, uh, the gluons are interact. The gluons interact with each other. In the QED, the strength of the electromagnetic force is uh, given by this relation. Uh, G uh, for square root for pi alpha here alpha is the uh, fine structure constant and G is the fundamental charge or charge of the positron. But in the strong interaction, the uh, coupling uh, V uh, G S is equal uh, 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 to square root for four pi alpha S and here G S uh, can be considered as the fundamental unit of color in accordance with the fundamental charge. So as you know, quarks uh, 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 come in three different colors. Here we show the C color, uh, the uh, red color by this column matrix, and the blue uh, by this uh, column matrix, and for the we have this column matrix. And uh, you know, uh, in uh, we uh, show direct, the direct spinner by uh, this notation. Here S stands for the C spin, and the P denotes the momentum of the uh, uh, particle. In addition to uh, this spinner, uh, here in QCD we will have an uh, uh, extra uh, factor, uh, which is charge factor. So we will uh, uh, have uh, this object in uh, QCD which describes the one uh, half particles. And uh, uh, consider uh, we have an incoming, uh, we have an incoming core with red. Uh, uh, and outgoing uh, quark with uh, color blue, and the difference is carried out by the gluon. Here, so you see, R E bar is carried out by uh, the gluon. 
and this is uh, this, uh, this is a structure constant are completely anti-symmetric. So if you change the uh, 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 alpha, for example, by beta, uh, you there will appear, uh, appear uh, one appear one more uh, minus sign. And each each index uh, runs from uh, one to eight. So we have three index. So we uh, we will have uh, eight times eight times eight equal to 512 structure constant. But most of the structure constant are uh, zero, and uh, uh, the non-zero has the uh, one word uh, five. Uh, I want you to show that the non-zero structures are these. These structures is this, and uh, those obtained by anti-symmetry from these structures. So uh, let's look at the uh, uh, properties of uh, QCD. Sorry, what exactly are gamma matrices? Gamma matrices that show the eight color. Each what stands for the uh, one color. Uh, we have eight uh, gamma matrices which, for, uh, which uh, correspond to eight colors. Each gamma matrix, matrix show a color. Stands for a color. So uh, QCD has a, a Prune uh, uh, property, uh, which is asymptotic freedom. Uh, asymptotic freedom says that in very high energies, uh, the quarks and gluon uh, interact very weakly. And uh, uh, this, is, uh, this has been discovered by uh, David Polister from Wilczek and David Gross, and they awarded the Nobel Prize 2004 for this discovery. We will uh, come back uh, later uh, to this property in more detail. Also, it is believed that uh, uh, QCD has uh, uh, an, uh, an additional uh, 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 property, which is confinement. Confinement means that the uh, uh, quarks uh, 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 are forever bounded into hadrons. But, uh, uh, it has not analytically, analytically proven yet. And all experimental searches for free quarks since, 1000, uh, since 1977 have uh, had negative results. Also, we will come back to uh, this uh, property later. So let's look at the QCD Lagrangian. Uh, you know uh, this Lagrangian, it, uh, it, it, this is the Lagrange density for QCD. And uh, here, uh, uh, this G, G mu nu A. A uh, is the color index here, and uh, G mu nu is the uh, Golomb field strength tensor. This is uh, written in this way. Uh, del mu G mu A, del mu G mu A, and uh, the structure constant and times to Golomb field. Here, G mu, G mu A is the Golomb field. And psi stands uh, for quarks. Here, uh, uh, the slash is gamma mu e mu, and the covariant derivative is uh, defined in this way. So, as uh, homework sits uh, using QCD Lagrangian and equation of motions, uh, describe and uh, find the equations of motions describing dynamics of the Uh, you, uh, you will learn how to uh, find the equation of motion from the Lagrangian in QFT versus by John. So, uh, in, in principle, uh, this Lagrangian is responsible for uh, describing the properties of the hadrons and, uh, and properties of the hadronic, uh, uh, Hadron decays and uh, all processes in uh, hadron level, but uh, unfortunately, it, uh, uh, it, it's, uh, it uh, uh, can be used only in the uh, limited uh, framework of the perturbation theory. And uh, when, uh, when energy uh, when the, the energy is high due to the synthetic freedom, we can use the uh, perturbation theory. But when uh, we go uh, the, uh, to the low energies, the uh, coupling constant between the quarks and gluons uh, become large, and the perturbation theory fails. So we need, uh, in, in this 
reason of energy, we need to have some non-perturbative approaches to describe the non-perturbative phenomena, uh, uh, which uh, maybe in next week uh, you will see uh, uh, some uh, methods, non-perturbative methods, and in QCD you will see uh, uh, the QCD samples and as a non-perturbative method by output. My question is that you can confine it, you can only consider uh, metals, uh, you can only consider composite objects, right? So that mesons, hadrons. Uh, yeah. Barrios, mesons, and some exotic barrios. Yeah, but uh, so we don't need to go to large distances because we don't have uh, large distance quark structures, right? The hadronic size is the large distance. Ah, so. Uh, what exactly the, the small You size? see, the, uh, I will uh, show uh, the lambda QCD. Is this QCD scale? We have a QCD scale. Below this, uh, the energy below this uh, lambda QCD. If we are, we are in energy region, which is uh, smaller than the lambda QCD, we, we uh, this is here. This is the range. In this uh, energy region, uh, we, we have had, this is approximately uh, correspond to hadronic size. But the region, if the uh, transfer momentum square is less than one GeV, approximately one GeV. We can, uh, we are in a uh, non-perturbative regime. This is the transfer momentum in the hadronic process. This is uh, one, one GV, one, two, three GV. Up, uh, up, uh, in energies uh, higher than the three GV, we, we go to the uh, perturbative. So first, uh, uh, I will consider uh, some bad examples in uh, perturbative QCD, and uh, before uh, them, uh, I will uh, uh, I will show some uh, uh, Feynman uh, rules uh, for uh, for the objects we will have uh, in our calculations. Actually, we have uh, you have seen. Uh, 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 the corresponding diagram for QED. Here in QCD, uh, uh, for extra, for external <coughs> lines and quarks, uh, for incoming quark, for example, we, we will write uh, uh, this is phenol times the color factor. And for outgoing quark, we, we will have a, a spinner, this is U bar S, P, and C dagger, C is the color factor here. And for anti quark, for incoming anti-quark, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, like the uh, outgoing quark. Incoming quark corresponds to outgoing. Uh, incoming anti-quark is the same as the uh, outgoing uh, uh, quark. So uh, we will have uh, here V bar S P C dagger. And for outgoing quark, anti-quark, we will write this spinner and times the color factor. For gluons, uh, uh, for incoming gluon, uh, we will uh, we will write epsilon mu uh, as a function of uh, momentum and uh, a alpha. This a alpha stands uh, for uh, gluon color, and epsilon mu is the polarization vector for spin bond particles. For propagators, for quark and also anti-quark propagators, we, uh, 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 we will write this expression the same as the uh, uh, QED or, or leptons. And uh, here, uh, for gluon propagators, uh, we will write uh, minus IG mu nu delta alpha beta. Alpha beta uh, are color indices and mu nu uh, are uh, 
And for quark column vertex, we will write minus i g s over 2 lambda alpha uh, gamma mu. It's lambda alpha. Lambda alpha denotes uh, the Kelvin matrix. Also, uh, for the trigonal vertex, for trigonal vertex, we will write minus gs, strong coupling constant, starts a constant, and g mu nu. Mu is this vertex, alpha mu, beta nu, and gamma uh, lambda. And k1, k2, and k3 are, k3 are momentums. So uh, we will write g mu nu. The difference of the momentums, uh, the first and second momentum, in the lambda and so on. And for the four column vertex, we will use this expression. But uh, hmm, I don't know you, uh, uh, you have seen uh, in QFD uh, courses or not how to, uh, you uh, uh, can um, derive this expression using the Lagrangian, interaction Lagrangian. But uh, uh, you may try this on work when you uh, are coming back to uh, when you come back to your own institutes. So as um, our first uh, example, I will consider the quark interact quark in uh, anti quark interaction, and we will compare this with the Q. So uh, here consider. We have a, a, a incoming, uh, we have an incoming quark and an uh, incoming antiquark. Here, a scattering of quark and antiquark. Here, by exchange column, the uh, color uh, for uh, the incoming quark is T1, and this momentum is T1. And uh, here, you see the outgoing uh, quark, which has a uh, color factor C3 and the momentum P3. And the, uh, the uh, momentum uh, exchange, uh, Q, transfer momentum, and uh, consider uh, the uh, momentum of the incoming antiquark is uh, P2 and its color factor is C2. And for outgoing antiquark, we have P4C4. So uh, actually, this is not uh, possible. Uh, uh, to uh, have a, a scattering of quark and quark, but uh, this is possible by uh, by colliding the uh, uh, proton, for example, and antiproton as the uh, uh, low energy manifestation of this process. So, starting from the, uh, this uh, uh, this point and going against the fermion lines, uh, we write as uh, we saw in the uh, Feynman rules uh, for outgoing quark, we write u bar 3. u bar 3 uh, briefly uh, uh, stands for u bar uh, s3 p3 u bar uh, 3 is equal to u bar s3 and p3. So here uh, u bar uh, uh, this is uh, for uh, this um, uh, outgoing uh, quark. And this is here we have a vertex, quark column vertex. We write uh, it has minus i g s over 2 lambda alpha gamma mu. Then start for incoming quark. And then we have a, a column vertex. And uh, uh, here we incoming anti quark. This vertex and outgoing antiquark. So if we rearrange and move the uh, constants out of the expression, here the, uh, you see these constants, yes, yeah. and uh, this is a color factor. This part is a color factor. And if you uh, compare uh, this, uh, this uh, amplitude with uh, the one from QED, you see, you will see that uh, we have uh, GS, which is uh, replaced by G, GE, and uh, in addition, uh, we have a color factor. This factor. My main aim is to show how we can uh, calculate this uh, color factor in QC. And we show uh, this ability by minus IM. Uh, as you know, the uh, physical quantities, for example, cross-sections 
are proportional to m square. Which is not uh, if I write m square, you know, can be written as m m star. So I uh, I define uh, this expression uh, by minus i e because we have three minus i e here. Well, uh, two, two of them uh, gives us uh, one, and we have one additional uh, uh, i. To get rid of uh, this i, uh, I, be, uh, I write the amplitude in this one. But uh, if you multiply minus i m star, you will get again m m star. So it does not affect the uh, physical quantities. So, So let's calculate the color factor. Uh, color factor. Uh, for example, first uh, we will consider the color factor for color uh, color objects. Here also in quark anti quark interaction uh, we have uh, three color three colors and three anti colors. So here also we have a singlet color singlet and color object. So uh, for color object, uh, as an example, uh, uh, we consider the color object one of the color objects. Uh, as R B bar, but if now we will calculate, calculate the color factor for uh, R B bar, but this is the same for all the other uh, members of the color. So now we consider uh, the incoming quark uh, uh, is red, so one zero six, and uh, of uh, an incoming uh, anti quark is uh, also anti. -B. Zero, one, zero. Uh, we know that the uh, color factor, uh, color uh, is a conserved quantity. So uh, our plain quark will be also red, and our plain uh, antiquark also will be red. If we calculate uh, the uh, color factor, uh, uh, if we put C1, and C2, 3, and C2, C4 as these uh, values here, we will get this number. This quantity. Alpha uh, uh, runs from 1 to 8. But if we, if we see, uh, look at the gel matrices, we will see that the only non zero components of the gel matrices uh, are lambda 1 1 for the uh, third uh, gel mat matrix, and lambda 2 2 also is non zero for the third one. And also, we will have non zero components for eight days uh, uh, gamma matrix. So, if we, if we put the uh, numeric values of lambda 1, 1, 3, lambda 2, 2, 3, and uh, uh, also for the uh, lambda 1, 1, 8, lambda 2, 2, 8, we will get this number minus 1 over minus 1 over 6. This is uh, uh, for color of. And for uh, color singlet, for singlet configuration, also we may consider the singlet uh, uh, configuration as this uh, 1 over the square root r bar plus g bar plus g g bar. And uh, now we will uh, calculate uh, the color factor for uh, this configuration, uh, singlet configuration. So if we put the values here also, first we, uh, we put the from the color uh, uh, conservation, they, uh, also the of incoming color, uh, quark and uh, uh, is uh, singlet is in singlet configuration. Also, the of plain uh, quark and quark will be in singlet configuration. So we put singlet conf configuration here. See, we, we first uh, this is RR bar, standards for RR bar. Knows the RR bar, and this is uh, this stands for uh, VB bar, and this part for GG bar. Now we will put the uh, values of C3 dagger, C3 dagger here, and C4. So if we put these values, we will have nine uh, nine terms, and in compact form we uh, we will write uh, we can write uh, the other factor for single case in this form. And as a homework 8, uh, 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 this show uh, 
the Cambrai Father Factor in similar this case in this story. And this is uh, here uh, I and J is the Ram 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 Here you see we can write it as a trace of lambda alpha lambda. So color factor for singlet case is the code 1 over 12 trace lambda alpha lambda. And uh, uh, you had a homework uh, uh, to show uh, lam trace lambda alpha lambda beta equal to 2 alpha uh, 2 delta alpha beta. And uh, if you uh, look at the gamma uh, uh, matrices, you can prove that the trace of lambda alpha lambda alpha here, uh, we have a summation over alpha, will give us uh, 16. So uh, if we put here 16, we will get the color factor for uh, single configuration as 4 over 3, positive 4 over 3. Uh, we know from uh, QED that uh, uh, we have a potential for long potential between the uh, electron and positron, uh, which is in this, this, uh, in this form. But here uh, you see the, the, the QCD version, uh, which we replace uh, alpha E, alpha electrodynamics, by uh, F times alpha S. So, if we put the color factors here, for, uh, for color singlet, uh, we will get a, uh, a, a, this potential. It says minus sign. Because of the minus sign, uh, uh, it, is a, uh, it is an attractive uh, uh, potential, and uh, it uh, uh, produces an attractive force, and uh, for color of that, we have a, a positive potential. Okay, we will get this uh, uh, explosion. And this is, this is not the repulsive, uh, repulsive force. And from here, uh, we can uh, see that uh, how the quark and on the quark uh, uh, form the mesons because of the, this uh, uh, minus sign. As another example, as a second example, uh, uh, I will try to show the uh, calculation uh, of the pair uh, annihilation in QCD. Uh, uh, you, uh, you saw the pair uh, annihilation in QED in uh, Feynman calculus courses, and here uh, uh, you, you had this uh, diagram, diagram one, but uh, in QED also. It's, uh, here we have an uh, incoming uh, quark and uh, incoming antiquark and uh, uh, by exchanging another quark uh, we get two gluons. Also, uh, uh, the second possible diagram is uh, this diagram. Uh, you have also these two, these two diagrams in QED, but we have one uh, uh, more uh, but an extra diagram here, which we have uh, not uh, uh, in QED. Here you see the, the interaction between uh, columns. Here we have three column vertices, but in photon case we have no uh, such a uh, diagram. One size and two this diagram is uh, the same as the, the diagram one, but uh, here uh, we only uh, uh, we have another config configuration. It's a uh, gluons in diagram one. The gluon two is, uh, uh, goes out from this vertex, and here is the gluon three. This is, uh, we, we should write all possibilities. So, you see, like this is different, or you need further? Well, it's going to. Why can't you then consider the um, bottom as well? Um, but that that would not give it independent diagram. You have two coming in and two going out. So you have you have either this matching or that matching. Hmm? Nothing else. So here, uh, uh, starting from uh, this point and uh, going against the fermion line, here, 
we have uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, quantity for the uh, incoming uh, particle. Then uh, we have this vertex, and we have uh, uh, an uh, outgoing uh, an outgoing column. Uh, we uh, write the uh, the, the, the column, we replace the column by this quantity. Then we have a quark propagator, and we have this vertex and uh, another golon, or frame golon, and incoming golon. This is the amplitude for first time. But in the first diagram in, in, in denominator, you see uh, we have 1 over q squared minus m, m squared c squared. So, uh, here we see that Q is the difference between P1 and P3. Q is P1 minus P3. If we square it, we will get P1 squared plus P3 squared minus 2 P1 P3. But P, P3 is the... Uh, 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 momentum of the golem, of the golem. So we know golems are massless. So uh, this is it. And the P1, P1 is, you know, P1 uh, for quarks, we have uh, P1 is mc. So P1 squared is m, m squared c squared. And we will get for q squared minus uh, m squared c squared, this will. Uh, this, this is equal to 2 pi 1 pi. Next. Next. So, here uh, uh, you see this fact that this, um, uh, I've, uh, I've got uh, my, uh, this P1, P3 from here. So, uh, then uh, we will. Uh, you know, uh, we, we uh, had gamma nu, for example, uh, uh, epsilon nu. You know this is equal to, to epsilon slash. For example, uh, epsilon 3. So, uh, uh, we have rewritten uh, the amplitude in the previous uh, page in this form. And here, uh, this, uh, this is a, a color plot. And for the second diagram, similarly, we, uh, try, uh, we, we get this expression here. Yeah. And this is the, with this uh, color factor. So, for the next, for the next diagram, also here, we have the, uh, uh, starting from here and going against the fermion line, we have a, uh, an incoming antiquar, and this stands for this incoming antiquar. And we have, we have a, a vertex, for column vertex, and this is the incoming quark. Then propagator for this column, and we uh, we had the three column vertex uh, in our uh, prime uh, rules. And here you see this uh, quantity stands for this uh, vertex. And we have two uh, more uh, outgoing columns. Uh, should the third one be going into the vertex, or it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. No, and these two go. Number three. Number three. No, no, number three particle number three. On the left top, left upper part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shouldn't it be going in? Isn't time in this direction, or does it matter? Doesn't matter. The time goes like that. Ah, okay. So here, here uh, Q is the, uh, but Q, you can write Q as, in this vertex, uh, from the momentum conservation, uh, we write Q equal to P3 plus 4, P4. And if we uh, uh, square it, we will get Q squared equal to P3 squared plus P4 squared plus 2 P3 P4. But columns are massless, and this is the uh, 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 momentum square for uh, 
the third column. So this is zero, and this one is zero. So we will get Q squared equal to uh, 2 pi 3 pi 4. And you know uh, the uh, for masses uh, uh, in one particles, their uh, uh, polarization vector is uh, perpendicular to uh, their momentum. So for uh, the third column, we have uh, epsilon 3 that p3 equal to 0 and epsilon 4 that p4 equal to 0. If we impose these uh, uh, conditions uh, here, we will get this expression and this color factor. Now, uh, uh, we assume that the initial particles are, are at rest. So, P1, P2, uh, uh, with the, this is uh, the energy or mass, and uh, they are in rest. So, P, P1, uh, the three momentum, P1, P2, equal to Z. So, P3, from the momentum conservation, P3 will be MC and uh, also P3 plus P4. So we know P3 plus P4 equal to P1 equal to P2. Because these two uh, equal to uh, Q and this, this uh, summation of P1 and P2 also equal to Q. So these two equal to each other. Are, uh, is equal to each other, so, uh, uh, so here uh, this is zero. If we consider P3 as P, so P4 will be minus P. So uh, here you see the momentum of P3 and P4. And if we multiply uh, uh, P1 by P3, it will uh, equal to P1 dot P4, and uh, for example, P1, P3. P1, P3, we will have MC squared. And similarly, we will get P3 dot P4 equal to 2 MC squared. You know, the, in the uh, column gates, we uh, have epsilon dot P3 moment equal to 0 and also epsilon 0 equal to 0. So uh, if we uh, combine, uh, we will get the uh, Lorentz condition uh, epsilon mu, P mu equal to 0. With this condition, uh, we will uh, we uh, can uh, you may uh, try to start, uh, to uh, prove these relations. We will get uh, we can uh, get immediately these relations from uh, imposing this uh, condition. Finally, for uh, the total amplitude, we uh, <coughs> uh, sum uh, all amplitudes. We have uh, three amplitudes here. And if we uh, sum, we will get the, uh, the total amplitude in this form. So now we, uh, we orient our coordinates uh, is such that the z-axis line uh, lies in along the p three momentum. In this, uh, by, uh, uh, by considering this uh, uh, orientation as a homework nine, but not for tomorrow, for uh, Monday, uh, 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 this uh, verify that uh, we can write p slash three in this form, p slash four in this form, and the and it gives us this quantity. Uh, and as the homework ten for uh, Monday. Uh, uh, using these relations and this periphery of the uh, 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 power matrices show that we can write epsilon 3, epsilon 4 in this way and epsilon uh, 4 slash epsilon 3 slash uh, by this uh, and also uh, verify that the amplitude uh, can be written in this form. Using all the relations, you uh, you uh, uh, you get from the homework eight uh, to ten. Uh, uh, 
this show that the amplitude can be written in this form. There's another one more. Uh, suppose we put the quartz into a uh, spin zero, spin single scale. Many moments. So, if we put quartz into the spin zero single state, show that the amplitude reduces to this, uh, this uh, expression. There's another one more. <laughs> if the quartz occupy the color single state, as we did for quark and quark uh, scattering. Uh, calculate this color factor for single risk. And finally, imposing all the results, uh, uh, we will get this quantity for uh, the amplitude. This shows that for Q plus Q bar for parent annihilation, in QCD, the amplitude can be written in this way. Okay. Now we uh, come back to the uh, strong coupling constant and uh, synthetic You know, in QCD, against the QED, we have uh, the uh, interaction of columns with each other. So one possible diagram uh, in calculations is this diagram, this group. But in, in calculations, when you calculate such diagrams, uh, uh, you will see some non-physical components of the columns also. It's contribute to the uh, calculations. And we should remove these uh, unwanted con uh, contributions from uh, our calculations. So we will introduce a, an unphysical uh, particle or field. This is called the ghost field or ghost particle. And uh, uh, we show it by this dot. This, uh, this uh, shows the um, uh, ghost or unphysical. The, uh, the couplings and the propagators of this particle uh, is chosen in a such a way that the graphs containing this particle cancel the physical Golony contributions from uh, our calculations and we uh, uh, get the uh, uh, finite results for our calculations. So, to calculate such diagrams, we need to introduce uh, uh, Feynman rules for ghost particles uh, for its uh, propagator. We have this uh, uh, expression, delta i over p squared, we denotes its momentum. And for the uh, interaction of the uh, ghost field with Golon, we have this Feynman. Why exactly they are on physical? Non physical. Non physical. Why, why, why is that? Like, don't they conserve energy or something like that? By introducing these particles, we remove the on one, uh, the on, on physical degrees of freedom coming from the bullet. Because of that, we say uh, non physical. Because the, uh, we have non physical degrees of freedom of bullets also in other calculations. But, but why? Is, the, is theory not like complete enough? Why do we have this non-physical content? Is theory not good enough? Or So uh, you, in QED you may uh, have seen uh, sometimes we have uh, integrals that is diverse. Yeah. And we need to uh, regularize, regularize the, our uh, integrals. Uh, here also this is a way of regularization. to get final result for our calculations. So to uh, calculate the strong coupling constant between quarks and columns, uh, we uh, will calculate such type diagrams, but uh, calculation 
of these diagrams is out of the uh, scope of our school. So I will only show uh, uh, diagrams uh, uh, contributing to the uh, outfits, uh, uh, strong coupling concentrity, bones and bones. Here we have the, uh, this, this uh, for vacuum polarization diagrams here, quad loop, balloon loop, another balloon loop, and the ghost field, the uh, ghost particle uh, loop. And the diagram which the quark emits a balloon and then absorbs it. And we have vertex corrections diagrams. Is that? So if you calculate the, the, those diagrams, finally you will get this expression is similar to uh, the, the one uh, you saw in QED, uh, by my calculus courses. Uh, but uh, this is similar. Okay. But here we have, a, uh, 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 here, uh, for example, we have a number of uh, colors and number of flavors. This is in the standard model, number of flavors is six and number of colors is three. Here, uh, you see a scale parameter mu, but this parameter comes from uh, comes from the, the dimension regularization. Sometimes uh, uh, our uh, integrals in four dimension, you saw in, in uh, QED when you uh, 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 calculated the uh, running coupling constant. Such diagrams uh, uh, diverge, so. Uh, to, uh, to uh, remove the divergence and get a, uh, a, get a final result, we uh, uh, multiply the integral by this factor and go, uh, go to d dimension. Uh, we multiply the, to this factor to, uh, uh, to keep the uh, total dimension of the inspiration on change. And after doing the calculations, we will set uh, uh, we will set uh, the d by uh, 4 minus 2 epsilon. And we, uh, maybe you will show next week when uh, 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 you, you may also uh, uh, in, uh, show in QED process. Uh, then after going to uh, the dimension and setting d by this uh, uh, this uh, quantity and expanding the uh, expression uh, in terms of epsilon, finally we will set uh, if we set the epsilon to zero, we uh, will get a final result. Sometimes we uh, uh, we will have such a uh, contributions which. Uh, for example, gamma uh, epsilon, we will have gamma epsilon, and this could be gamma epsilon uh, is uh, equal to 1 over epsilon and some other terms. And uh, when we set epsilon to 0, zero this will give us uh, infinity. But it, the infinities uh, cancel each other. And uh, finally, we, uh, we will get the finite result. But here, here uh, uh, this is alpha s in uh, q square, and this is alpha s in uh, uh, mu scale, mu square. But we will introduce another uh, parameter, which is QCD parameter, such that the ln lambda square uh, is equal to ln mu square minus this factor. Introducing this uh, uh, new quantity, uh, we uh, we will get this uh, coupling constant, alpha s q squared equal to this expression in this condition. And this is only uh, 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 depends uh, on uh, lambda. This lambda is a lambda QCD, as we discussed. Uh, and lambda QCD uh, is determined from the experiment. But it, it is very difficult to, uh, to uh, get the exact uh, 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 result for lambda QCD, but it is approximately uh, about 200 MeV, which is one Fermi minus one, and this correspond to, uh, corresponds to uh, hadronic scale. 
as a, uh, another homework, homework working. Uh, using this uh, is the equation, equation number two and uh, equation one in the previous slide. There is this equation. If you pull it out by S uh, in terms of energy, here you see the results of uh, experiments. Uh, here you see experimental data and uh, the values from let's QCD, uh, let's QC, and also the third uh, result. These lines dashed and solid, and this dashed line also shows the uh, calculations, uh, theoretical calculations, and also you see uh, many experimental uh, results, and uh, uh, that is result also. Here we see a good consistency between the results of the uh, theory and uh, also experimental data. And you see, if we go to higher energies, uh, the, the alpha phase goes to zero. It shows that in very high energies uh, or short distances, uh, uh, the alpha phase or coupling constant between quarks and gluons becomes uh, very small, and uh, this is the, uh, this can be considered considered as the basis of the synthetic theory. So let's come back again to confinement, uh, as we uh, mentioned. Uh, uh, the uh, confinement is a property of QCD, and it is. Believe that QCD is a confining theory, but uh, we have no analytically proof uh, uh, for this uh, confinement. But uh, in, uh, when quarks uh, are produced in particle accelerators, uh, we, we, uh, we detect, detect only uh, the jets of many color neutral particles. Uh, uh, here you know uh, mesons or particles. We cannot uh, see uh, quarks or free quarks. So because of that, we believe that uh, QCD is a confining, confining theory, but it has not uh, analytically proven up to now. This process is called the hadronization. So we will consider uh, the hadrons in this time. Here you see hadrons. Uh, hadrons, uh, you know, are uh, baryons and mesons. But uh, and also we have another object cons uh, consists from uh, uh, four parts uh, or five parts. Five parts. Five parts. Objects are called uh, uh, pentaquarks. Or we have uh, objects with uh, containing uh, six quarks, which are Dibarions and also eight. But we have objects uh, with eight quarks or uh, octa quarks. But uh, but uh, experimentally we have uh, uh, detected uh, these uh, hadrons as baryons and mesons. Uh, so I will consider only these uh, objects here, baryons and mesons, and. Uh, that uh, parents, you know, uh, composed from three quarks and mesons composed from one quark and one antiquark. So, I will start with the uh, flight pariums. Uh, we have, you know, uh, from our quark uh, list in uh, the first slide, we had uh, three light quarks, up, down, and strange. So, we will construct the light pariums from these three light quarks. If we, uh, so we have three quarks, and uh, in, in SU3 flavor symmetry, we have three quarks, three uh, uh, flavors, and three colors. If we multiply, we will get uh, uh, 27, uh, which uh, can be written in this form as a equivalent value of 10 plus 8 plus 8 prime plus 1. So this. Uh, Let's look at here, uh, if we multiply three 
uh, courts here, we can write uh, this multiplication, multiplication in this form. The first line is completely symmetric under the exchange of uh, quarks. If you change the, uh, if you replace, exchange i and j, you will get the same expression. Or uh, we have symmetry uh, between the i, j, uh, and k. So we will write this term uh, in this form. <coughs> this anti commutation relation stands for the uh, symmetry. Uh, so this line is totally symmetric under the exchange of the factors. And in the second and th third lines, we have uh, a mixed uh, symmetry. They said that, that this line uh, is symmetric under the exchange of I and J. And that, uh, the third one is uh, anti symmetric under the exchange of I and J. And finally, we have uh, this uh, uh, line. It is totally anti-symmetric under the exchange of I, J, K. So this one, this symmetric uh, uh, term, uh, is corresponding to the Doppler variables. And these two mixed uh, states uh, correspond to the octet variables. So octet variables are, uh, are formed from this A2 plus A prime. And we will have a single. This is totally anti symmetric. Yeah. Yeah. This see, uh, represents the, the representation? Only representatives. One group is posted, the uh, plus and multiplied type of surface round. Yes. Sorry? One group is posted, the plus and the multiplied type of surface round. Plus no. Sorry? This is a sign also, plus. It should be plus. Okay. So why is it but in group time, the group theory language is like that. So, so the, the couplet variants are uh, uh, these variants, which have spin 300. So, here the y axis shows the strangeness, and the x axis shows the uh, third component of the isostream. So for first time, we have delta variance. Uh, delta variance, you see here, here uh, the core contents for these variance. So for example, delta minus, uh, uh, delta minus uh, has uh, 3D quarks, down quarks. Here we have no strange quark, and the strangeness for this line is zero. And here we have sigma variance. This is star denotes the spin three half variance. So uh, for sigma variant, we have, if we see uh, their quark, quark contents, we have one strange quark. So the strangeness is minus one, as you saw in uh, the uh, previous slides. And uh, chi star here, chi star uh, have uh, two strange quark inside. So we. Very strange, this is minus 2, and finally, omega star variant uh, has 3 strange work and this length is minus 3. And this is isospin. The third component of the isospin, for example, for uh, down quark was minus 1 over 2. So for 3D quarks, we will have minus 3 over 2 as the third, third component of isospin. So, uh, and Octet variants are these variants. Here you see our neutrons, also neutron and proton here. These have a spin uh, one, of, uh, 1 over 2. And first line also here, this is the strangeness, and this line is the third component uh, of the other spin. Here we have, again, sigma variant, but without star. Without stars. Uh, so uh, without stars. It means uh, that the spin is one more. And chi variance without stars. And here you see their quark contents. And like sing we have a singlet, uh, as I said, this is lambda. But this lambda, lambda is different than this lambda. Here this, uh, uh, but their quark contents is the same. But its mass is different than mass of this quark.
Now, the other uh, uh, heavy core, uh, charmer uh, bottom core, because we have no uh, uh, patrons consist from the top core, uh, it has very uh, uh, large mass and uh, the uh, uh, hadrons consist of uh, how quite has have a very short lifetime and they immediately decay. So uh, as heavy quark quark uh, we uh, will consider bottom or some quark. So uh, we categorize the heavy variums uh, by the spin of uh, spin of the light degrees of freedom. Therefore heavy variums containing one, one uh, heavy quark, single heavy quark, single D or C quark. So in this limit, when we compare the mass of the heavy variance with mass of light variance, we can set uh, MQ as, uh, uh, as infinity. So, uh, so we have the two, uh, we have the, um, two light quarks, and we categorize the heavy variance containing a, a single heavy quark with uh, the spin of the light degrees of freedom. Here we have uh, three, three uh, so we have three by three here, and uh, we three colors and th from one quark and three colors from another, another quark, we will get uh, three, which is uh, anti-triplet and a sixth. So, this is anti-triplet and this is six. So, each quark has a spin one half. So, a di quark is either s equal to one, which is for a uh, symmetric uh, sex step, and or zero for this anti-triplet. And we know the ground state uh, uh, have, uh, the ground state has l equal to zero, angular momentum is zero, and so the total angular momentum uh, or total spin, uh, if we add the spin of the, 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 the heavy baryon, we will get one over two, s equal to zero for the quark, and we add the one over two, so we will get one over two here for anti-triplet, and we add s equal to one for like the quark, and if we add another one over two, we will get either three over half or one over half. This three over half uh, are, in, uh, we denote the three over half variants with stars. And without the stars, uh, we have uh, the sixth set of uh, uh, variants with spin one of one half. And here alpha will be alpha, alpha plus one, alpha plus two, uh, two stand for uh, uh, charge. So alpha can get minus one, zero, and minus one and zero. So if you look at uh, the core contents of the spin, uh, the heavy variance, what is spin three half? Uh, we have these variance. Here we have a bottom of uh, charge quark and two light quarks. For example, if you consider the bottom quark here, and two light quarks up, up, each uh, up quark has uh, charge two over three. So we have two over three, three two over three uh, gives us four over three, and we have bottom quark minus one over three. So four over three minus one over three gives us one. So here is plus one for uh, bottom quarks. And if we consider the strong one, we will have two plus signs. For this spin one half variants, we have the same variants with the same quark contents, but <coughs> sorry, without the stars. Now I will look at the spin three half variants all together, light variants and heavy variants with a single heavy quark and uh, Heavy variants containing two heavy quarks. And we have a baryon with three heavy quarks. So this, uh, this is uh, our decoupled structure. And this is, uh, we have here the sextet, as I uh, showed. Some of them uh, has been discovered in the experiment. For example, we have seen these two states in the experiment, but we have not seen these 
other uh, states. And also, uh, we have not seen uh, the uh, two uh, volumes containing two heavy parts and the experiments, and also this is correct for uh, omega minus, which contains three heavy parts. So, for instance, one half volumes, we have this structure here. Uh, this is this is uh, our uh, normal uh, octet volumes, light octet volumes, and we have the sextet sextet uh, for volumes uh, with uh, a single heavy quark and volumes with two single heavy quarks. We have three volumes for spin one half and. Also the same, uh, the same variants, but this time uh, for charm variants. Instead of bottom variants here, you see in these diagrams, we have uh, we replaced the uh, bottom variants, the bottom quarks by uh, charm. And uh, let's look at finally uh, our proton in two pictures. One easy picture. <laughs> and it tries something in German. I don't know. Somebody <laughs> knows German and to translate it. That's English. That's English. English in our in our protocol being our work works. I don't know English. English. But this is a I don't know if this is a real picture or not. Here we have inside the proton, as you know, as you saw, uh, we have uh, two upwards and one equal. This is a simple picture for our proton, but this is a real picture, unfortunately. For uh, the proton, we have three quarks here, and many gluons, and pair production, and the complicated so let me uh, uh, stop here today and we will continue. <laughs> Thank you.